Let's chat simple closet decluttering and maintenance to keep up with the closet. It can be super overwhelming to let go of clothing, so here are some tips that help me not fail like I used to and help me go from crying on the floor to a lean, mean purging machine. Just look at her go. At the start of the year, anytime I hang up a piece of clothing I just wore throughout the year, I turn the hanger around so it's backwards on the rack. At the end of the year, I pull the hangers that are still facing forward and place them in a pile for 30 days to make sure I'm really ready to let them go. If I forget what's in there, or don't reach for anything, off to the women's shelter it goes. Next, when I'm out of hangers, I try not to buy more hangers. Instead, I take it as my sign, it's time to purge. Now let's talk closet upkeep, because this is the simple secret I absolutely swear by. As I undress, I tell myself to put things like shoes back where they belong, and laundry in its proper categorized hammer so I don't have to separate before a wash. But occasionally, it piles up on the chair. I'm not perfect. So as I dig my way out of this, here are some more practical tips I use. On the fence about discarding an item, I ask myself, can I make five outfits out of an item? If not, I may have to let it go. If it has holes, is tattered, I don't wear it, doesn't fit, or it's way out of style, I don't keep it, even if it was expensive. And full closet decluttering is best done in small bites. So I'll only focus on one rack or shelf a day till it's done. I hope this helps. Next, we talk sentimental item decluttering. Like and follow for more simple tips.